everybody, and welcome to the Death Battle Cast, the show where we just bullshit. I think that's kind of what we do here, right? We just we just make shit up for 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 an hour. Uh, all right, uh, I'm Ben, voice of Wiz. On um, what are you doing, show? Liam? I don't know. Some weird shit. I was just sort of. I always do kind of a weird thing at the beginning of these. So your mic like jumped in volume for me when you when you opened that up. So I was just like, ah, like doing his mic and scream like to really the loud. Show. <laughs> anyway, hey, I'm um, to anyway that was Liam. That was Chad, and we're joined by Josh. Hello, back. I'm back. Hi, everybody. Back to talk about some comic book characters, right? Uh, yeah. Nothing else. Movie. Comic Don't book. ask me any personal questions. I want to answer uh, them. What is your See, social that's... security number again? I remember I was able to get it yesterday, but I just wanted to. Continue. I only have like the first four numbers. And Mother's maiden name. Yeah. I, yeah again, I won't talk about it on the cast, but maybe I'll tweet it out after this or something. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Keep yeah. an eye on that on Josh's Twitter. Uh, Joshua In... Kazemi. Josh Kazemi? Joshua Kazemi? What is Joshua. it? Joshua. <laughs> Joshua Kazemi on the Twitter. The full name. Yes. <laughs> um, you'll, and you will find his social security number, but probably only up for like five seconds so be ready for that hey speaking uh, of tweets did you guys see my tweet from yesterday where i was in the supermarket yeah it was really funny <laughs> I, was like, I, did, I did not see it the kids were looking at cereal and i looked and a captain crunch box was directly next to a tony the tiger box and i was like you mother and and the and the frosted flakes box was like twice as big huge it, sure yeah. was. it was like oh. uh, yeah <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was awesome. Just has to overshadow the captain yeah. everywhere it can. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I saw the RTAA came out on that so on the anime adventure, yeah. and I'd forgotten <laughs> that I had argued for Tony, and now I'm, I'm <laughs> proud of myself again. Uh, not. <laughs> Speaking of arguing, um, well, we do have a community death battle to get to, but before we get to it, I do want to quickly mention there is a new death battle out. Tanjiro versus Jonathan Joestar, uh, our our first our first anime fight of the year, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know what fights we do this year. Whatever. <laughs> There's been um, only two, <laughs> and it is currently trending on YouTube. It was trending oh, yeah. at number three when it when uh, when it aired yesterday. Uh, it's still it's on five. Still on the trending list is now number five. So props. So thank you guys. If it can get yeah. like five and like and like above, that's like and stay there for a while. Just bring that's it back up. Awesome. Put, yeah, it, yeah, put yeah. it back up above five. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So thank you all for for uh, <laughs> sharing that episode around. Clearly, uh, people really wanted to see it, and I, I love it. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is also, it's, it's shout been, out to the team on the most like heartstring tug. Yeah, ending I was so, ever had in I, was, I was like concerned, or not like concerned, but I was like wary of how that ending would be interpreted. Whether it would it would feel like. It would be interpreted the way I was hoping it would be, which is that, oh, it's really emotional, Hello. it's really sad. Uh, or if it would be like, oh, fucking, oh, it's disrespectful to Tanjiro to have him die like that. So I'm glad that it was like, I'm glad that it was like people got oh, spoilers. I was literally about to be like, yeah, I was about to be like, don't spoil anything. I'm like, okay, good. He's dodging. Oh. It. He's not saying any spoilers. Yeah. And then <laughs> well, yeah, it, like he, yeah, too bad. I I, I I did kind of want to talk a little bit about that. Uh, we'll save that for for later on in the show. Uh, kind of kind sure. of covering because because the the writing phase of this episode in particular was was really interesting, but also uh, just what the animation sort of evolved into. So we'll talk a little bit mm -hmm. about that um, and uh, later on today. But right now, let's get to the battle. Today we are arguing. Thor versus Superman, but not just any Thor versus Superman matchup. This is specifically Marvel Cinematic Universe Thor versus Snyder Superman. I don't really know what to call it. Yeah, the, yeah. DC, DC movie Ooh. universe Superman, whatever he is. The um, Thor that made people like Thor and the Superman that made people hate Superman. Snyder Man. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. So, Liam, we did that long ago. <laughs> <laughs> it was a wild well, combo. Of, uh, the Superman, <laughs> people have always thought Superman is boring, but nobody has hated Superman, right? Until until Man of Steel. Um, so, <laughs> at, uh, of course, I'm going to be arguing for Superman. Um, and Liam will be arguing for Thor. So we can go ahead and get this started. Um, I'll go ahead and kick us off. Good. I was about to, uh, I was about to do the thing where I was like, Ben, do you want to kick us on off? On the clock, let's do this. Um, 
crap. I, 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 I lost my notes on this, so I'm just going to have to go off my memory. All right, Superman uh, is definitely going to win this. So the Superman in the DC movie EU. extended universe um is obviously not as powerful as the one in the comics which is like traversing galaxies and universes and whatnot uh, just by flying but he is still incredibly powerful the most powerful being in the dc movie universe by far instantly easily taking on steppenwolf by himself in both versions of justice league despite the entire rest of the justice league struggling to keep up together against steppenwolf he's uh he's incredibly powerful uh able to uh, uh uh break the world the world engine so it's called in man of steel uh, i'm gonna get into that later uh fight doomsday of course who is specifically designed to be able to kill him and beat the flash that's the other one got it all in 60 seconds there we go <laughs> You nailed it. Also, that dooms, that doomsday is it. its own thing. All right, like, well, yeah, doomsday. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he looks like we'll a fucking ninja it. turtle. We'll get, we'll, we'll get into that shit, right? Looks like the uh, Michael let's go ben ahead and see what you've got for Thor. So, um, uh, the Clint Eastwood Th- face. So, we, yeah, yeah, I got the the Clint Eastwood face. Um, Thor. Uh, wins this one, and I think he actually <laughs> wins this pretty easily, uh, despite him also being weaker uh, than his comic book counterpart. Uh, he is uh, unbelievably impressive, and actually has better feats and abilities than DCEU Superman. Um, he, is, he is simply far, far more powerful, um, especially with Stormbreaker. He's way tougher uh able to survive a fucking neutron star the full force of a neutron star um and and it's just a a a much wider variety of powers and and has weapons you know i i I don't want to understate the advantage you have uh, having a weapon versus just fighting fist to fist um putting the quality of of their movies aside uh thor just has um almost every advantage in this fight and will just be able to easily overwhelm superman with his his strength and uh and his crazy abilities. Ah yes, if only bad guys had thought to use weapons against <laughs> Superman. We have zero examples of that. Well, <laughs> let's be let's be clear about what kind of weapon we're talking about, which is Stormbreaker, sure. which we can get to what it does, though I think we're all thinking of the same s- scene. Um at least sure. I Sure. Okay. Yes. Um I mean I will say, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm apparently having to refresh my call. Ben is so leaving. Get, he's, I'm, he's I'm just ditching admitted forfeiting. to defeat. And uh, that's um, DQ from Ben. So it looks like <laughs> Thor wins. And this is the easiest one we've had so far. Liam, so Liam, guys start start argument. Argument. Liam, start my argument. Um, okay, I'm going to start my argument. Uh, <laughs> gosh, where should I begin? I'm not even sure how Superman is supposed to hurt him, right? Uh, he was able to withstand the full force of a neutron star during the forging of Stormbreak. Like a star blasting him with all of its mm-hmm. power and he survived it and he was fucked up sure but once he got his hands on stormbreaker he healed which is also sure. like a healing factor feat because thor actually does have uh, a healing factor it's not as crazy as some of the healing factors we've seen on the show but it is it is certainly enough to survive stab wounds from hella um it is it's able to to recover him from being um having a skin and flesh like fucking burned uh, he actually was technically dead uh, after the destroyer fight in Thor one and Mjolnir revived him. So, uh, as long as he has his hands on Stormbreaker and Mjolnir, uh, not sure what, uh, what Superman is supposed to do, uh, to him. He's just too tough. I think Johnny L red in the chat has a very good point. There's a big difference. Thor doesn't go for the neck, but Superman <laughs> absolutely does. <laughs> uh, yeah. Very specific uh, to this. Or for the head. Yeah. Sure. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Superman He's gonna break goes his for neck. The, for the, He's got for it. The, yeah. yeah. Superman Thor's goes for gonna... the. Except Thor could just go bonk with his fucking hammer. Go bonk. Zod couldn't do okay. shit. He just had hands. Thor would just go <laughs> bonk, and then that's I have, it. I have a question Thor's about Stormbreaker specifically. Or Is Stormbreaker magic? Uh, yeah. I mean, wait. I, I don't know if DCU. Super, I mean, Superman doesn't have a weakness to magic. He just. So Superman's weakness to magic is like is that he doesn't have a specific exactly. resistance. So it's against like you can turn it. him right. into a, like a, a squirrel or something, then he'll be turned into. A squirrel. Yes. 
And I imagine a magic weapon is much more effective on him than a non-magic one, right? So like that's why I'm I'm trying to find out. Is it I'll just like say, is it just like know. nature lightning powers or is it magic? I don't actually I don't know think it matters in this case. I don't think it would bypass his his derb. It would just be like hitting him. However powerful that lightning is that the yeah, summons. So normal like, Superman is not able not. to defend against magic as, uh, as well. But DCEU Superman, as far as I could tell, has never shown any sort of weakness to any kind of magic. Now that might just be because there's not a whole lot of magic to be thrown at him in his uh in his movies, but mm -hmm. like Wonder Woman has a magic sword. It was never brought up that like, oh, that could hurt Superman. Uh, uh, Aquaman has a magic trident. He didn't use that to beat Superman when they were fighting. So they also don't, don't fight very extensively. I, I ju it's just enough to say that Superman is like superior to all of them. Gotcha. Yeah, and could take yeah. all. And Nogay three four two in the chat brings up a good point. Thor becomes fat and lazy wastrel, whereas <laughs> Superman remained boss. And 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 guess what? Thor arguably did better against fucking Thanos. Well, no, I guess because when he gets Stormbreaker, he just <laughs> instantly owns Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet. Never mind. But uh, obviously, <laughs> we, we would be taking uh, we would be taking full strength Thor here. Yeah. So nice argument, but unfortunately, uh, no. Well, I am I. I do have a question about Thor, and I don't, yeah. I don't really understand this part about his. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thor Odinson just became a, a member. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yes. Welcome. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thor is a member. Of your case. Yeah, dude. Okay, this State is gonna. That's, a, that's a huge leg up. No, 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 no. That's a huge leg up for Thor in this argument. Oh, Thor can't way. bribe his way to victory. Look, that's I his picture too. I love it. That's his picture. So it's clearly him. It is. Him. It's definitely him. Thor just became a death battle member. <laughs> Whoa. And that's really funny. Oh well, thank God. you, Thor. Uh, for for time. for becoming a member, that's not going to guarantee that you win this, though. Please but understand it, it that. Sure helped. <laughs> you know, I like the fact that sh that they had they kept Cubby Thor and and throughout all of Endgame. I'm glad they didn't yeah, like, wimp too. out and just make it like a joke and then have him be buff at the end. I like, like that they, they kept comes him in, for yeah. that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah uh, I mean, that's totally what I was expecting. But I'm glad that they didn't. It was nice. It was like, a, it, oh, he's you know, it doesn't matter what he what, he, what he's Thor's, like on the outside. He's still it's his person that's the one that's fighting. Thor's arc has certainly been one of the most interesting in the MCU, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Yeah. Um, but my my thought is, and, and this is actually it doesn't matter really related to the arc. So um, Ragnarok establishes that the hammer was never what gave him his power; that his power was always mm -hmm. his own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then in in uh, in Infinity War and Endgame, it's not. <laughs> He gets there's, his power from Storm there's some, Yeah, there, there's some friction between between <laughs> Ragnarok and Infinity War in terms of plot and theme. And it's a bit of like, it's a bit of both. <laughs> it's a, yeah. It's, uh, I might not have a I might not have a cool solid canon answer to your question. What is the question? <laughs> well, the question is: Could if, if Superman removes his weapon, like how exactly do we interpret? Uh, would not his be able to. Would not be able to lift Mjolnir. Enchantment. But, well, Stormbreaker. Right? You could get rid of Stormbreaker, right? Mjolnir, maybe. Hella, Hella broke Mjolnir, but Hella is like a special Asgardian, right? She's not. Uh, Superman is not. Uh, does not. Uh, Hella break the enchantment. Wielded it, right? Yeah, I believe so. Before it had the enchantment. Yeah, yeah. Oh, did she? I think. I think that was there was like that mural or whatever that yeah. she revealed of her fighting with uh, Odin, and I think she might have been holding it. And you Secret know, you could make murals. an argument that su that comic book Superman would be able to wield Mjolnir, and in fact, I I think he has. Um, but uh, movie Superman is a fucking asshole. And yeah, one of my favorite things about <laughs> we, we've talked about doing Superman versus Thor as like a death battle. And technically speaking, <laughs> Superman is Thor in his universe. Like yeah. he goes to Valhalla or something and then yeah. Thor passes Mjolnir on to him. Nice. So he okay. is Thor. Oh, I didn't even know about that. I just know. Yeah. About, I just uh, know time the, gets reset or whatever. So I guess technically not uh, he is okay. anymore, but he. He he could wield it. Um, I will say one of my favorite sense. scenes in all of the Avengers movies is when they're all trying to lift Thor and Captain America grabs it and it squeaks a little bit and he gets really nervous. <laughs> yeah, absolutely <laughs> loved the little nod like to when yeah. Captain America like the best does moment in Ultron. It. And now it's <laughs> recontextualized too, so it's great. Yep. Um, so it's like he he maybe could have always wielded it and he just chose not to pick it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because clearly <laughs> he picked it up thinking he Word. could probably right uh, yeah. in in Endgame. Either way, he was like, um, it, it doesn't budge. He's like, well, yeah, he well, just goes to try to No, no, please don't hit yeah. me. Please don't so hit me. So I I agree. Um, Man of Steel, Clark 
Superman would not be able to wield Mjolnir. Mjolnir. He is too... He hates humans. So, he hates okay. himself. He's an asshole. I, I have to put Miserable. aside my bias here because I'm, I'm not a fan of Man of Steel. <laughs> Neither am I. I'm not a fan, I, I'm not a fan of, of, this, of Snyder's Superman interpretation. Um, but, like, looking at it for what he's going for, okay? We have sort of a tortured... Not a tortured, per se, but just, like, a confused Superman? He's just yes, not really he sure what to do. Yeah, the, um, the, the very, like, charitable interpretation that I can give of that character is that, like, he was given, he, he was, he was not raised with the same, like, unyielding good, like, like, uh, he was raised in a more complex world, let's say, than comic book Superman was, where his parents were like, maybe you shouldn't, you know, yeah. save those people. Let them all die, Clark. Let them all <laughs> die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I see people in chat saying that my mic is off. I don't really know what's going on. Yeah, you should um, definitely go is. back to the road cat. It's a little... Well, that's the problem. It oh, died on no. me. Oh, oh no! Uh, um, or something. It's just not working. All right, quick sponsor time. This week, we've got Maple Story sponsoring us. Hey, are you tired of being judged based on the way you look? I yeah, we all are, right? Well, Maple Story is too, because while it may look cute and cuddly, this is a deeply hardcore MMORPG. Maple Story is full of vast, colorful lands uh, and a ferocious array of towering monsters. And don't get us started about damage. Maple Story will have you dealing billions with each swing of your Crimson Maple Sky Slicer as you battle boss after epic boss. And you can customize your Mapler your way. Maple Story has 40 plus jobs and thousands of weapons, outfits, hats, armor sets, and mounts for you to take on your journey, from tenacious grand pauldrons to vicious lollipop wands. Join a community of over 300 million Maplers ready to fight by your side as you become the warrior you've always been inside. Because slaying a Balrog 10 times your size is always more fun with friends. There's a ton to see and do in this picturesque world, uh, and with 18 years of content to sink your frost saber into, there will always be a new adventure around the corner. Maple Story's ready to go. Are you? So go to maplestory.com to check out the game and play for free. That's maplestory.com. Back to the show, but definitely check that out. So uh, I've, I've been having my problems all day, like trying to get into meetings and stuff, like everything's shut down. I don't know what's going on. Um, so it, may, it might not even be that. It might be an issue with my computer. Um, but this is what we got. This is what I got right now. So well, just don't get loud can, like that. We're can, fine because that's what it gets bad. This is uh, what can, I got right now. Okay. Can he? Oh, can perfect. Superman hurt Thor? How, how strong is Superman? How strong is Superman? It, like it, it, I I don't know the answer to like just the DC universe. Superman. Like, what's the craziest thing he did in those movies? It's well, probably that his eye ripped movie. out. I mean, okay. he's not. Uh, you know, DC, DC. That's a good point. Let's, let's talk about things that that that, that he's not invulnerable, but in that same fight, he was also like stabbed multiple times and recovered from that. Yeah, so like there are like, some wounds he can heal, some he can't. Heat vision, the brain, man. That's always that's always a, a I don't question. Know, I don't know if I don't know if DCEU Superman can do that. Um, he can't. In fact, I know he he can't. His his laser vision is not precise as, at as all. precise. It's enough, like yeah. a big blast. Um, and uh, yeah, go on. <laughs> but but DC, oh, okay, so I think the biggest thing here to compare between yeah. DCU Superman and MCU Thor is their physical ability. Because I think mm -hmm. I think Superman is going to be able to get around. Thor's got weapons, sure. He's never going to hit Superman. Superman is way faster than Thor is. Uh, uh, he's 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 able to keep up with Flash easily. Um, he's way faster than any of the other Justice League members. Like they they basically stand still. Um, and he's flown from one end of the earth to the other in a matter of seconds. Um, less than that, even like when, when, when he's in the Arctic being, um, kind of pathetic, <laughs> talking, to, uh, talking to his dead dad, um, he's just hanging out moping. Cause like, oh no, Lex Luthor set off a bomb and it has no consequence on the story, but whatever. And then Lex Luthor is on a building and he throws uh lois lane off the building lois screams. and then she splatters against the ground and he's there all like, oh. he's just there he just yeah. knows mm -hmm. she's there because he mm -hmm. heard her scream yes and flew from the arctic classic to superman the metropolis in an instant mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. there's no way 
Thor is going to be able to hit him. He's just oh, way I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I think Superman might. It, it's possible because I haven't broken down the numbers for both. But I know Thor also has incredibly fast feats. First of all, like uh, he has his lightning, which is real lightning. It can move at lightning speed. Um, Hela has has dodged and uh, and blocked his lightning on reaction. And because he's fought with Hela, um, uh, he would be just as fast. Um, plus. Uh, he was able to continue fighting Hela like hand to hand while they were traveling up the Bifrost. So it's very likely that, uh, and that Bifrost was traveling like across the universe to Asgard or whoever. I was about to say, what's what's the velocity? What's the what's the MPH uh, on on the Bifrost? Like, just because they're on the Bifrost doesn't mean that they're suddenly able to react at Bifrost speeds. That's like saying that if I'm being That's launched a on a, a, a super rail, right? Like at a like a thousand miles an hour and somebody else is on the the train next to me like i could still punch him it doesn't mean i'm yo ben got into a fight on the bullet train he was like moving like a god like Like, that's what the bifrost that's how it functions in the mcu they are not they are not summoning that speed they are literally jumping into a into Mm -hmm. a beam that then makes them travel so Mm -hmm. I, i don't think the Storm- Stormbreaker can summon the Bifrost. I'm yes, actually but, like, my brain is just like, is there? Be able to use it here. Can we? Can, can you calculate that you are actually throwing a punch faster if you're on a bullet train? <laughs> like, <laughs> technically, <laughs> technically, you are. Be. See, that's what I'm saying. Technically, a little bit in the same direction the as window. the bullet train. <laughs> like, your fist like, is relative to the Earth, moving super fast. Gotcha, Ben. <laughs> or could I know, I know if, if what, Thor I know had a far enough distance, he could set up the Bifrost, point it at Superman, and ram him, he and then like launch a, himself like towards Superman, and ram him. Going but like the arena, Superman would see that coming. <laughs> he he can outspeed Flash, who, who can break time. And so, uh, well, I wouldn't say he was moving. He was moving as fast as like Flash's peak there, because Flash also was like very much like I am not sure of my abilities. Throughout most of Justice League, and it really isn't. This until is the end right of after break. Flash moved fast enough to break time. But he wasn't. He wasn't breaking t- if he had been moving that fast. He reverse in his, time in, in order to revive Superman. Superman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Superman. Th- that was that was the change, right? So um, I don't think we can just say, "Oh, yeah, he was moving too slow." Like we we can't necessarily gauge it that way. Like that that's that's guessing at how fast Flash is, and then also like. During the fight in both versions of Justice League, he is still able to keep up with things that Flash is doing. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. But 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 Flash isn't like Flash isn't like he is in the comics where he has like mastered his abilities and and is consistently is like always consistently moving faster than he has in the past. Uh, in in the movies, he's not he's still not sure of his abilities and isn't mastered them. So you can't oh, sure. look at every instance and go and go. Oh, he is moving at his peak speed against Superman because there's clearly times when he's moving faster than other times. So oh, sure. I don't think it's as easy but... to. I don't think we can compare Flash's speed like when he's breaking. T- I don't think we can say that Superman is like breaking time fast. I think he is well, somewhere. He's he is somewhere not. slower than that, right? And he's we don't not know able where. to break time specifically because they do mention in. Well, I guess they technically don't mention. So in the Snyder version, they do mention that he can tap into like energy. I believe they do. I believe they mentioned that he can tap into an energy field and that's what affects time. Um, but regardless, Flash and Superman are very clearly moving much faster than Thor ever has. So I, I think it's going to be very difficult for Thor to even tag Superman. Uh, and then, the, the, of course, there's a question of like, well, is Superman powerful enough to, to take on Thor, who took on the blast of a star? I, yeah. If we're, if we're going with this direction with Flash, like, well, uh, Flash is always running at his max speed or whatever, which, you know, is, is brings up a whole lot of questions. Um, then we also have to look at the star feat, which is he's not taking the full brunt of the star all at once. It's a it's a it's a drip, basically, because it's it's like the star is being used as fuel. So he's in the the path of it, but it's not like a supernova exploding in his face. Mm-hmm. Um, and Superman is uh, probably one of his most impressive feats, I think, is being able to overpower the world engine, which the world engine in Man of Steel, I had to, I had to recheck this because like by this point in the movie, when I watched it, I checked out. <laughs> yeah. uh, but the way the world engine works in Man of Steel is the idea is that it, it, it's, it's designed to 
distort the mass of the Earth in order to turn it into Krypton. It is basically a gravity well generator that is firing gravity into the planet, making it Krypton. What? Now, for whatever reason, <laughs> for whatever reason, and this doesn't make a whole lot of sense when you really think about it, this is how it works in the movie. When Superman is near it, he becomes, he acts as though, or more like he is no longer on Earth absorbing yellow sunlight. It doesn't make sense when you think about it. Like the, the yellow sun's still there. He should still be able to act like a Kryptonian on Earth, but he can't. Um, it is sapping his powers. So a weakened, also the world engine is launched from orbit, crashes into Earth, creates this massive sort of like crater that uh, uh, kind of dispels a bunch of the Indian Ocean, shatters mountains around it. It's this massive explosive entrance. Uh, and obviously the world engine survives this. It is built to survive a very, very uh, uh, hard impact. Right. Um, so Superman, weakened by this gravity laser, flies... For some fucking reason, he decides to fly, fly straight through the gravity laser instead of just going around it. Uh, as it's weakening him, into the world engine and straight through it, breaking it apart. So a weakened version of Superman could overpower a gravity beam capable of completely rewriting a planet's mass and shattered something designed to a, a very large vehicle designed to survive crashing into a planet, destroying mountains in its wake. I don't remember any of that at all. I don't either. I think I blocked that's it. Man of Steel? Uh, I did not either. This is the end of Man of Steel. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. why I don't know. By the way, that's, that's the really, one movie that's a really that Ben impressive... has ever told me, do not watch. I was like, no, I want to watch it just to know. And he goes, don't watch it. <laughs> what, it's... Man of Steel? <laughs> that's Yeah, that's how much Ben hates that movie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's bad. It's really it also, bad. But I've it's, seen uh... it twice, maybe. I don't remember that at all. I, I refuse it's to watch it. because the last it third again. of that movie is just like a blur. <laughs> just yeah, like it's like, over. it's like, it's like, it's like porridge. It's as like soon as they destroy the Seven like Eleven, yeah. yeah. As soon as they destroy yeah. the Seven Eleven, everything is just yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's, it's hard to piece together. What's, what's I mean, happening. everything before that is blah too. Like, I, I do have a couple blow. things I, I want to bring up. So Ben, you mentioned I'm one, also like, not done. when when Thor was forging Stormbreaker, you said that it was like a drip. Is it or was it like the way like a magnifying glass focuses the sun? Is so it like. It could be the opposite. It could be like that was a more focused. The beam statement of from the from the movie is is the full force of a star. But even if you just want to calculate like the surface area that Thor like was was tanking that energy, like just that, it would get to like country level. So like like trillions of tons of TNT. Um, so something so, so even even like a even a generous like amount even or even a, not a generous uh, uh, what's the opposite of generous a conservative amount would still put it at that same level of energy that you were talking about. Plus, that's also not even bringing up Stormbreaker's power, which completely overpowered what was supposedly the single most powerful object in the entire oh, universe, yeah. which was the Infinity Gauntlet directly. Slices through it, that beam. It tried to, it, the Infinity Gauntlet shot a power blast at it and it pushed against it like a fucking Dragon Ball energy beam and <laughs> went right into Thanos's purple Shrek ass chest. Also, um, I have to read this comment from Fenton Majora. He says, doesn't that just prove Superman is a dummy dum dum? Why fly into a beam and not go around it? <laughs> yes. <Okay. laughs> Actually is a reason for it. Uh, the, the world engine has weird tentacle cyborg things defending it, and he's in the beam because they won't go in there, I think. I it's think also, it's cinematic it's and they really love that scene from Independence Day and they did uh, everything short of saying, hello, boys, I'm back. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think I think that's why he's there. I, it doesn't tell us. It doesn't really need to tell us, you know, like it's not that important. Um, but either way, it's also just for, for the dramatic epic scene of him flying through a exactly. beam, right? This is, yeah. this is back when every superhero film had some sort of laser beam either going up or down. <laughs> like, hey, look, yeah. we did it too, all beam. right? They still do... through Goku's beam. And since Goku They're was... still doing sky beam stuff too, which is like mind-blowing. Well, we're going to move into sky tears now because of uh, Spider-Man. So 
Oh, I'm that's right. I'm sure that's what's yeah. going to happen in, in Moon Knight. I'm sure that's what's going to happen in uh, Doctor Strange. Uh, I'm sure uh, uh, Captain America 4, there's just going to be this tear in space for no reason. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Wiz, hey, uh, don't be mad, but I pushed some buttons in your lab and now I'm in cyberspace. I'm looking for that elusive dislike bar that's been missing for months, but look what I found instead. Spear. <laughs> Okay, not real beer, it's a bunch of emojis. Listen up, this is crazy. Did you know the Death Metal channel offers memberships for less than three bucks? I know, it's a steal. Members get exclusive badges, live streams, behind the scenes videos, members only live chat, and over 20 unique emojis. All you gotta do is click the join button and you're in the club. I, I, I do wanna mention, uh, cause I, I totally skipped this at the beginning. Um, uh, uh, keep in mind what we are saying because, of course, we are going to be looking to you guys for a vote. Uh, we will have a poll up in the YouTube chat in just a little bit. But uh, if you're watching this and you're not a member, you can go to the community tab or members, too. You can go to the community tab on the Death Battle channel and there is a poll there and we will be using that as well. So you can vote there and in the chat once that poll comes up. And then so you'll be able to vote twice, essentially. And then. Chad and Josh will also be. Yep. Hey Ben, here's one for you. Uh, Fu, that's my username. Says Thanos was distracted. That's why it worked, not because Stormbreaker is more powerful. No, he wasn't distracted. It was it was a direct beam Points, at that yeah. match Stormbreaker, and Stormbreaker pushed against it and won. There, there, he was not distracted at all. Like he he was distracted, like it, in terms of Thor appearing in the battle, but not in terms of the beam. It was a direct, like head on, clear as day confrontation. And uh, and that Infinity Gauntlet, of course, able to wipe out uh, half the people in the universe, um, even just the Power Stone, even thought. though it was the entire Infinity Gauntlet at that point, just the Power Stone uh, is able to uh, destroy planets upon making contact with them. Like you just put in a hammer and go like that and the planet is gone. It's not even like it's not even like a, it's not even pushing the limits of how powerful just the Power Stone is. And there's all these other ones as well. Oh, I mean, yeah, the reality Stormbreaker would like would like cut through Superman like a like a hot knife through butter. I believe there's also a statement in What If about Thor blowing up uh, a star, and it's stated to be a, su a blue supergiant, but I don't know the full context on it. But there's that as well. I I think you are correct in that if Stormbreaker were to hit him, it would hurt a lot. It would be really tough for Superman be to be able to survive stormbreaker or maybe even mjolnir um but i just don't think he's going to be able to hit him at all like i just don't think he's fast enough i think superman is just way too fast for him to hit him i have to bring up the age-old question what if superman just grabbed thor and flew him into the sun superman would only be getting stronger and i know thor has survived a star exploding but holding him into the, like the lava of the sun uh, a, if he held, if he held Thor, if he, you know if I mean. he like grabbed Thor, Thor would just go with that with Stormbreaker and, and cut him in half. Uh, B, I don't know if the the I get stronger in the sun is a thing in the DCEU. You could remind me, Ben. I know that it like it heals yeah, him. He it gets, gets him back he to gets, full power, but I don't think it like boosts him. Like so when he's thing. fighting, it, it does. Well, it's a little unclear uh, when mm -hmm. he's fighting Doomsday. Um, he goes up into the atmosphere and gets like rejuvenated by the sun. Yeah, yeah. But it's he can get rejuvenated. It's so it's sort really, of unclear. The closer he is, he's getting much. more power, which is like a little bit of a nod to Sun Dip Superman. I don't know if we can say that he could be that level because he has to be there for a really long time. But I'm just saying. Oh, it's, oh, it's, and, it's, and and they actually say that they outright say it in uh, Man of Steel that like um, they like uh, uh, the the Kryptonians that show up. They are constantly building up in power throughout the whole fight. That's why like. That's the reason that's given for yeah. Superman killing Zod is that he's just getting more and more powerful. And if he like yeah. lets him go, he's just going to continue growing in power. So, so, yes, they are continuing to grow in power. It's probably similar rules to the comics where there is oh, sort Thor can teleport of a peak, out too. depending mm -hmm, yeah. on their distance. Yeah. Or open the uh, Bifrost, of course. Right? Yeah. Like, if he holds Mjolnir, I mean, Superman couldn't lift him up, right? <laughs> I think I think if he's holding I think if he's holding no. the then it doesn't count. No, that's the like, loophole. Oh, no, 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 no. Gosh, that's, that's the loophole. loophole. As long no, 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 as no, no, war no. is touching it, other people can interact. Remember? Yeah. There what was that Hulk, Hulk Red could Hulk. punch Thor. Yeah, Red Hulk. Yeah. Uh, the yeah. comic book yeah. loophole's dumb. Uh, yeah. I, I'm but, just saying. <laughs>
Thor's uh, uh, holding Mjolnir when he's fighting Hulk, and Hulk is able to punch him around. He's not just yeah, like yeah. it doesn't That's hang true. in the air. <laughs> that would be amazing, though. That'd be hilarious. Like, I am the rock on the eternal shore. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, be broken. <laughs> Crash uh, would be broken. No one, if that were the case, no one could ever knock Thor anywhere. Like he would just have Mjolnir, and no matter okay. what hit him, he would just remain motionless. <laughs> uh, raging Zekron in the chat. Did we establish that Superman would be able to lift Mjolnir? I don't think he would. And I'm arguing for Superman. I don't think he would. I think he's too <laughs> confused and too like angry to do it. Uh, yeah. He's not really a leader. I, I, if Cap uh, had to struggle at first to do it, um, then Superman definitely well, would not be able to. I would. I question if I think. I think the way I interpret it now is that Cap could always, and like he, just, he realized that during that moment and mm. chose not to lift it. Yeah, being a gentleman. Um, <laughs> But I mean yeah. that's interpretation, of course. Yeah. Um, Anyways, Cap the movie Cap say, is a lot nicer than, than movie super. It movie. is possible More as noble. much as I don't want to bring this one up, it is possible <laughs> that theatrical release Justice League Superman <laughs> could. Because he's he's got the John Williams theme. <laughs> oh yeah, he's like he's, like he's basically a different, a different back, Superman. Like, I'm nice now, everybody. Yeah, and like, like let's you were be never real. like this. You were never like this. Yeah, exactly. Superman. But but like <laughs> comic book superman and probably frankly christopher reeve superman could yeah oh could 100%. Live Mjolnir. Let's, christopher let's, reeve let's, would let's be oh like christopher reeve like superman absolutely could yeah, and that's, yeah. that's who he's supposed to be emulating in the original yes in just theatrical justice league god i hate um, man of steel so much <laughs> here's why i must be hate man of steel oh man uh, Ma man of steel man of steel <clears throat> uh such a bummer such a bummer of a movie and uh, just depressing. not not as bad as bvs because bvs is like <laughs> this is like is like <laughs> like watching it mouth agape. Oh my god, Jimmy Olsen is a CIA plant and he gets executed in like the first 15 minutes. <laughs> Wait, it what? like this amazing like masterpiece. Um uh Suicide Squad is uh unwatchable. Um the Suicide Squad is a, is the best DCEU movie so far though, I would Absolutely. say. Absolutely. Um I, I like how they kind of like the Suicide Squad movies operate on both ends of the quality spectrum. Yeah, you sure um, do. <laughs> I also really like the Batman. Batman was quite good. I haven't watched it yet. I haven't seen it's it. Yet. Yeah. It's, good. it's on HBO Max now. I, I, I can I can Shout I would understand people company. having mixed opinions <laughs> on it because I you know, I think it's like if you kind of like if you're if you're vibing with it, if it catches you and you're vibing with it, it's good. But if you're like not if that you don't like sense. superhero movies anymore, but, then you're, you're probably not going to like that. Um, but it was also this is like the fourth or fifth iteration of Batman. Like we've had yeah. a lot of Batman, right? Yeah, so like, like, how many Batman. times can we tell his origin story? It's like, natural I just, to. I mean, they, I I don't think they tell it. It's not it's not an origin story. It's, I have I watched. Don't, he's he's been a year in or something like that. I can't. That remember. was the be, that was uh, one of the best parts of the movies. They didn't bother with the origin. They didn't even yeah. touch it at all. They yeah. didn't even do like. I mean, it's like it's like. Bruce, um, uh, his relationship with his father is a part of the story, but not his murder. There's no oh, flashbacks okay. to him being to his parents being. It's not the yeah. the pearls the falling pearls onto the screen. Yeah, no, it's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's yeah. cool to see that because that is from a comic book, right? That's from the uh, I can't remember which one it is, but it's like almost shot for shot a recreation. Yeah, that was very uh, year cool, one. Though, yeah, which is what Snyder does a lot. Yeah. Um, but. So it's kind of cool to see it, but it was completely unnecessary. <laughs> uh, oh, no, no, it wasn't because, uh, uh, why did you say that name? Why did you say his name? name? It's like so uh, much uh, like, yeah. Okay, okay. I, but the point, I, is, never point, is, point is, <laughs> Superman never would kick Thor's one. ass. No, the Thor end. would kick Superman's ass, Done. shove Stormbreaker up his butt, nah. and give him, give him couldn't even a, touch a, his butt. A, a, couldn't a, even a touch gigantic his butt. butt cheek with, with Stormbreaker. I, or we could have, not even touch Superman's butt. We have evidence of or being like really harmed, like we hit his eye ripped out, right? Mm -hmm. What do we have for like Superman being harmed? L Loki stabbed him with a knife in Avengers, right? Just yeah. stabbed him with a and, knife, and he healed. And he was stabbed with a knife. He was stabbed Loki by Hela a bunch of times and healed for a while. Right. But when Thor, do we Thor have any instance of Superman getting harmed? Yeah, people keep ignoring in the DC Superman without, getting harmed. Like, kryptonite has only been harmed by kryptonite, right? There's so, yeah, that's that's that's, that's one thing that I'm coming okay. back to. I'm like I lean more towards yeah. Thor out of personal preference. There right? is a but, moment. Well, okay, I think this one's questionable because Kryptonite is there at the scene. So during the death, the Doomsday fight, um, obviously Doomsday's like hurting Superman, 
because Kryptonite is nearby. That's why Superman dies. He gets the Kryptonite spear and he stabs him and Doomsday kills him because Kryptonite's right there. Um, if, if he wasn't using Kryptonite spear, he wouldn't die. But then also Doomsday wouldn't die because Doomsday has the same strengths and weaknesses. But during the fight, uh, a nuke hits both of them. Um, Superman gets sort of knocked out. He's not like hurt. We don't see any physical injuries, uh, but that's when he goes into the air and gets rejuvenated by the sun. Um, it's a it's a callback to the Dark Knight Returns. That's yeah, except in Dark Knight Returns, he gets like withered. Nothing. Yeah, he gets withered. And, and uh, really cool. And it's like image. take uh, sunlight from the plant. Yeah, um, yeah. And in, in this so one, cool. he's, oh, he's like God. he's like got char. He's like charred or something like that. There's like yeah. His, his skin is affected, but he's not, like, dying or anything like that. So he just sort of, like, gets some sunlight to rejuvenate himself. He's like, all right, I'm back to full strength. And then he just goes back. And it happens, like, yeah. instantly. Also, the chat's um, bringing up a couple things. But, like, guys, I'm sorry, without kryptonite. It's like, yeah, exactly. not going to have kryptonite. Doomsday only was able to hurt him because kryptonite was around and also they a match for each other. Right. That's because he's literally opinion. Zod. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we have any evidence of Superman being able to be harmed without kryptonite. So like that's I don't not know what... that's not the same that's not the same thing just because he hasn't been shown to be <laughs> he hasn't he hasn't been he hasn't been like he hasn't countered something that has been capable of hurting him he's also never encountered a dude that can shoot uh laser beams that uh wiped out that have the same power as uh wiping out half the universe so it's a different it's a different a completely <laughs> different scale of power i've also i've never been killed before and uh, there are nukes that exist in this movie. So, nuke level Liam? I don't know. Hey, you know, no, it's possible, Liam. I don't have any evidence. So I don't know. Maybe you're a portal. I like that. Add yeah. that to Liam's wiki. Yeah. I've never been killed, so I might be a mortal. <laughs> that's what I, that's what I, that's the, that's the, that's my usual uh, argument. When you know what that shit is? Like, that's like Sam logic. Shit. That's some Sam level shit. It's yeah. it's true. I mean, it's it's, <laughs> a, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's a silly sounding argument, but it is addressing a you know uh, proof kind of thing. Okay. So I, I, I don't know. Either way. Okay. So this is a tough one for me. I I still don't see how Thor could even possibly keep up with Superman. Like I I don't. I think uh, well, the first speed of all, is first of all, like overmatched well, here. If 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 Superman gets hit by his lightning, which uh, Thor can emit like omnidirectionally. He can have it like everywhere. Um, he can like he can shock you just by but just by touching just by being touched. Right. So Superman has to touch him to hurt him. Um, transferring his lightning to Superman. Lightning does. I, this is getting a little technical, but lightning does like literally paralyze your muscles and prevent you from moving. Electricity does, I should say. Um, so I think that actually would be a pretty solid way of uh, preventing Superman from moving. Is, uh, Thor has never yeah. done that in the MCU. He's never paralyzed anybody with lightning. Uh, yeah, just yeah, yeah. He's never specifically used that because he can just like smash people. But if he's be, <laughs> but if he can emit lightning from his body, which he can, we've seen it like dance around him and stuff and like crackle with it. Um, if Superman needs to touch him to hit him, which he does, right? all Obviously, right, common sense, he's getting hurt. And if he shoots the fucking laser beams at him, Thor is just gonna Stormbreaker like you know right through and uh, go straight into Superman's. Uh, Superman just face. breathes on him and freezes him in ice if and Thor, smashes him to bits. Boom, boom. Yeah, what about that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's get the poll up in the chat as we move to what is going on. With the latest death battle. So you can vote for or Superman in the chat. Remember, this is MC Snyder versus yeah, DCEU Superman, uh, not the comic books, uh, very different characters. Uh, but l let's talk a little bit about Tanjiro, um, Tanjiro, mm -hmm. Jonathan Joestar. Jojiro, as the, as the community is calling it. Jo I like that. To Tojiro? Jo Jojiro. 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 No. What? I'm Jojiro. so confused. Jojiro. Jonathan oh, jo plus Jojo plus Tanjiro. Tanjiro comes first in the title. Jojiro. Ben's like, yeah, Totoro. Well, I love we, that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because of that, we internally called it Tanjon. Uh, but oh, I, I, think like Jojiro, Tanjon I, I like Tanjon. I like, I think I like Jojiro more. It's just a little. I like Tanjon um, better. Tanjon, okay. Jojiro. Well, fine. Yeah. Fine. Or John Jiro. John Jiro also works because it sounds like Tan. It rhymes with Tanjiro, but it also hey, let's it. talk about the actual production of the episode. <laughs> the the this is part of the production. The internal <laughs> name was very important, Ben. Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, so 
one one of the big things with this episode was uh we were kind of talking about how we wanted the the battle to go um so spo- we're going to spoil this i guess <laughs> as we often do it. with our episodes uh, we were ta- talk as we it. as we were talking <laughs> about how the battle was going to go um we we kind of ran into the 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 idea that like i think you very much were were pushing for this idea that like they're both very positive people so yeah, we want the sweethearts. fight to be really positive and to have mm-hmm. like positive elements to it kind of might might yeah exactly might might right? yoda mickey that kind of thing yeah uh so we very much went in with that with that uh idea but like the ending is so different from normal you want to talk a little bit about that yeah i would love to it's a very like emotional like hearts heart uh heart string tugging ending and it's also very cheesy you know it cuts to like jonathan like ugly crying uh in a in a very quick like cut away uh to kind of cut tension Hey, real quick pause. I want to talk about a show that I think you might be interested in. Do you ever find yourself awake in the middle of the night reading real life stories that make your skin crawl? The creepy history behind Victorian nursery rhymes or tales of sleep paralysis demons? Perhaps you've seen the haunting images of corpses on Mount Everest or experimented with seances and spirit boards, you know, and perhaps you've wondered, hey, what the heck exactly is necro cannibalism? That sounds effed up. Well, then, hey, 30 Morbid Minutes is the new podcast for you. Hosted by Elise Willems and Jessica Vasami, each episode investigates a new topic ranging from macabre to morbid to downright creepy. Sourced straight from history and the headlines of today. Subscribe now on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts. And new episodes of 30 Morbid Minutes are available every Tuesday and Mondays for Rooster Teeth First members. Go check that out. All right, back to the show um but uh it's it's yeah we wanted to make it something that was uh it felt appropriate to both characters uh jonathan um kind of immediately reacting to (laughs) because the joke is like is like is like oh shit if if (laughs) if i had just asked about that at the beginning all of this would have been fucking uh avoided but we you know jonathan would never like enjoy killing someone um it would never he would never do it brutally, like in a kind of death battle mortal combat-y kind of way. Um, and uh and uh no, not with Tanjiro for that matter. Um Tanjiro is even more like, you know, like he, the, the demon he kills, he's like, uh, I have a backstory. And Tanjiro's like, oh god, fuck, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so that felt very appropriate to both characters. Um, and it was just a total like different kind of change of pace for an episode. It would take a lot of people by surprise. It was funny, I a lot of people like kind of were like they didn't call it but they were hoping that we would do something like that i saw comments that were like oh i hope it ends with like if jojo wins i hope it ends like with caesar like like using haman to stop mark's heart in part two i hope it ends like that which is literally literally how it ends um uh it just felt appropriate and uh you know we gave a little time at the end there to show that epilogue with Jonathan Nezuko, because as we were talking, yeah, as I was just talking, had through, to add the the Nezuko yeah. hand pull away, yeah, didn't you, you bastard? Because we don't know, we don't know. What's yeah, the happen. hesitation, but that was it wasn't was necessary hesitation. to the fight. That was just to yeah, screw with kind everyone. Completely superfluous. <laughs> and I know me and the researchers were talking, we were like, man, this just makes us want to do a fucking spin off, the adventures of Jonathan Nezuko. Oh, I've seen a ton of comments like that. Oh, everyone's talking like that. I'm yeah. so happy Great. that that was that that was that, that was something I really wanted. The hands coming because like you guys were like, yeah takes a nezuko and i was like oh yeah. then the hands come in and she and then, pulls away and we don't know she could attack him he has it, he could, yeah. yeah and in fact in fact some people point out i didn't even notice this i was the fucking director that reviewed these shots but his, her <laughs> nails like grow a little bit i mean it might be like it might it might be like it might it's have been like an, angle, an intentional like but... like like angle like you just see more of the nail but it, it almost looks like her nails grow and get sharper which might be like she's about to attack i'm saying canonically word of god statement <laughs> uh is that it's it's left ambiguous it's what you think i would like to believe that they uh they work out their differences you and, did you um, did a japanese ending is what you're saying and that's the yeah, like yeah, oh, yeah, take, yeah. take away whatever you will and the, it will play exactly. out the way that you yes. want it to in your mind you, you, you fucking hate now. that shit so much <laughs> <laughs> you, you are the like, storyteller now our yeah, story I, is done yeah. and you yeah. are the teller yeah that's yeah. the author uh you you would like to believe that after witnessing this crazy man just yeah. kill her brother she's gonna yes. be like yeah i'll go with you it, it would take like a while <laughs> it would take like a week or two of like it's of like for the first season of like, of the spinoff yeah, yeah yeah it would take it would take a little while um i think she also she also because she also sees 
or is implied to see. First of all, we don't know how much she actually sees of the fight. She runs off. We just know she's hiding behind a tree at the end. We don't know where that tree is, how far away it is from the battle. We don't know if Jonathan had to like walk a distance to find her and then she pops out when she gets when he gets close or if she was like right there watching the fight the entire time. We don't know. Um Actually, also, what you missed was a uh, 15 year time skip, and they're actually standing yeah, exactly. at the altar, yeah, and they maybe, said, uh, they're about to get married. <laughs> um, uh, we also, if she did see the fight, then she also would have seen Jonathan crying and uh, Mercy kill, give, give uh, Tondra a, a peaceful, uh, painless death. So there is that. There is that. But yeah, also, she, she might have seen uh, Jonathan literally beat her brother to death with his mm. bare fist. So that yeah. would probably uh, play into it a bit. I think there'd be like a week or two where he's like trying to regain her trust. And then, and then he like, he's like, and then he's like carrying the, the Nezuko box on his back. And it's really <laughs> cute. And then, and then uh, the, the, the battles of demon slayer become kind of non issues because now instead of characters that have swords that can slow the healing factor of a demon, you have a character that can just melt a demon by a touch. <laughs> <laughs> just, just instantly go. breaks the universe. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's like, <laughs> well, <laughs> You, I'm, I'm glad I'm glad we've got this wonderful fan fiction. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm waiting for the uh, fan art. I can't believe we haven't seen a Jonathan with the Nezuko box on his back yet. I was definitely so cute. Oh There's god, she's like popping around. Are you are the artists in our community are insane. They're so yeah, fast. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy yeah. to me. I love it. I love seeing this art. It makes me it makes my heart yep. swell. And this episode did so well. This episode did so well. Awesome. Um like it was like number 3 on trending. I think it's moved yep. down to number 5. Uh it's almost at a million after 24 hours. That's like, that's really great. And, we're back. Um, we're back, baby. <laughs> and uh, yeah, well, well, this is the first time we've brought in a Demon Slayer. So yep. this is, um, mm -hmm. uh, once again, I think uh, uh, the second character this year that's from an all new franchise, yeah. um, which is going to be something you're going to be seeing a lot of this year. Yeah. Uh, next episode is, I, if I remember correctly, we, we've kind of, it looks like we're kind of doing a like, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Other, every other episode is like trying something new. Uh, because because next episode That's is right. a very classic style of death battle, right? We've got oh yeah, Thor and, and Vegeta going at it. Um, yeah. oh, we have some wild ones coming up though that they are not yeah. expecting oh, yeah. in the slightest oh, yeah. bit. Yeah, especially yes. yeah. I'm not even gonna I, obviously I'm not nope. gonna say which one. Yeah. Uh, oh. but uh, there's one that I don't think anybody's gonna be expecting. Especially, there's a couple that I don't think there's a couple, there's a couple, there's more than a couple, uh, I think. Um, <laughs> we get out yeah. after it'll be fine. Yeah. Also, Adam exactly. Barber says, Death Battle is fanfic confirmed. I mean, our show is basically like a research based <laughs> fan fiction, like yeah. that. Like, <laughs> like, I think it, it's important to try to, like, I don't, I don't want to diss fan fiction because I think fan fiction is, is has a very good place in place mm -hmm. and is very important for a lot of people. Um, but I don't. It's important to me that Death Battle doesn't that we don't have that mindset going into a Death Battle to yes, make it a fan fiction yes. because mm -hmm. we're using these characters or presenting it on YouTube. It it I feel like it kind of crosses a line when we start like telling too much of a story. That's why so many of these battles begin with like, "Hey, you look mean. Let's yeah. fight," and then they go, <laughs> "Oh, hey, that piece of food is mine." Yeah, <laughs> uh, so we, we, we've never done like uh, a, a death battle that leads into another one with a story or anything like that. The closest yeah. we've gotten, I think, to fan fiction is Deadpool. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. that's that's probably true. And here's the thing, though: like, also, like He Man Lion is the one that feels the most like. But uh, but it was all done in like this is the way like it just felt like. It felt like what would happen if those characters had crossed if they did the shows that had crossed over. Well, yeah, and I mean, that's fight. what we try to do, right? But right. We, we go with it not as a, like, let's tell a story of what would happen with it, and let's just find out who's going to win and fight. Like, that's the general idea, right? Right. Um, sometimes we obviously play around with that idea. Uh, like, we've had 150-something episodes, right? We, we, we got all sorts of different, you know, directions for the show. Uh, but generally speaking, um, that's, that's sort of my mindset, at least, uh, with, with how we go about this. But... Um, speaking of fan fiction, I guess let's talk. Let's go back to this double Superman Thor <laughs> matchup. Nailed it. I don't, I don't know what this has anything to do with Community Death Battle time. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So get your votes in in the chat. We are going to start with uh, some community answers that you guys have left. Let's go ahead and bring up the first one. Uh, this is from Isaiah. Uh, who I think is in our member chat. 
Uh, when MCU Thor helped form Storage Breaker, he took the force of a dying star. It was calculated that that's enough to evaporate Earth's population at least seven times over. He's just too tough to be put down by DCEU Superman. Yeah. True. See, Isaiah has a red Inject badge next to his name. Do yeah. Month member. That's awesome. Also makes Isaiah correct. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go ahead and bring up the other answer and see if that is more correct. <laughs> Oh, all Ooh. right. They got a lot more to this one from Ooh, Jeremiah Smith. Uh, DCEU uh, Superman is far too fast. His heat vision is basically infrared light that he absorbs from the sun. So his heat vision is light speed. He's fast enough to put Flash on the defense. A Flash who was fast enough to run faster than light and turn back time. They that. moved so quick, everything <laughs> around them was still. His physical strength feats also trumped Thor's. From destroying the world engine to shifting a tectonic plate. It was on the news wall in... Uh, I didn't Batman mention that one, Superman. but yes, he did yes. shift it to uh, the plate. <laughs> yep. Dude survived a nuke. Nukes are known to be to briefly get hotter than the sun. Soups is insanely powerful. He toyed with uh, WW and Wonder straight Woman. up... Sorry, what? Wonder, Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. He toyed with Wonder Woman and straight up beat down Steppenwolf. Man soloed the Justice League. Soups downright takes this fight. I should have just shown this. This is you know, yeah. There you go. Oh, okay. Shifting a tectonic plate. Liam is nice. gets a sentence it's, for his character. Ben exactly, gets a dissertation. Not like not exactly the same as cutting. All right. The so let's get to the me. vote. We got just a couple minutes let's left. Be clear. First vote's going to be the community tab vote. Uh, the one that's been up for a little while now. So let's go ahead and bring that one up. Look at that. Oh, Superman wow. has 73% of the vote. I can what hear you, you know? smiling right now, Ben. <laughs> that is not what I was expecting. <laughs> Would you look at that? Isn't that, isn't that surprising? Wow, yeah. Okay, well, uh, well, we'll get to the chat vote in just a little bit. But first, let's get to the jury over here. Chad, who are you voting for? Man, Superman, this right? one sucks. <laughs> like this hard, one, man, yeah, right? yeah. This one's really hard. I I just I like Thor more, but with Superman speed, and then also like I just don't think he'd be harmed without Kryptonite. Even though Liam's got his argument of like he might be able to survive a nuke because he's never died. Um, I'm gonna go <laughs> with Superman. I'm the sorry. Fuck are you what, what are you talking about? What, are, what is it not a complicate? <laughs> we just haven't seen something strong enough to harm him. It doesn't mean that he hasn't. He can't be but harmed. It's Superman. What are you talking about? But he's Superman. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> love it. Hi, Josh. Oh, Superman can be harmed. He's harmed all the time. <laughs> Josh, who oh are you Lord voting for? Man. Okay. It, 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 this is much closer than I thought it was going to be. But, or at least you've done a great job, like, I think, because I, I was going into this fully expecting Thor, but I think you've done a good job and the community's done a great job of, like, backing Superman. But I think I'm okay. still, I'm still going Thor because... In the, in the MCU, he's got like thousands of years of experience as a fighter, as a warrior, fighting a ton of different creatures and aliens throughout the galaxy. Like, Ooh, that's a good I point. Think, I think he has the tactical ability to like figure out how to take Superman down. Oh, and yeah. I mean, Thor is also like like over a thousand years old, too. So he's a much better, more skilled fighter, more experienced. Yeah, that is true. It's actually kind of a plot point in Man of Steel that Superman has no... Train it like Marshall right. Like yeah, is like smashes you people are weak. It, it, <laughs> yeah, it takes him forever right. to like right. be able to take on. But by the time he's fighting Batman, at some point he learns how to do martial arts. I guess. Yeah, it is for him. He's just punching. So, so real stupid. quick, Liam, you have an opportunity to sway my vote. Yeah. No, you already voted. Whoa! And we have an opportunity. Time. You have we an opportunity to, to sway my vote. We have two minutes. Chad. He changed his vote. I know. Last time. Welcome to so, chaos. Let's see. And that is. Is there a reasonable scenario where Thor could figure out to take Superman away from the Yellow Sun? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Like, like How, if, without if, Superman if telling Superman him, tries to use that to his advantage. Thor would easily be able to see that it's making him stronger, and then open up a bri Bifrost to the other end of the fucking universe, and then no more Sar. The Bifrost is the perfect way to get him away from the sun. And Thor is an experienced like a, a, a guy that Thor is would have to get him wars. into the Bifrost in the first place. Which he again... can open up Bifrost on top of both of them. Well, Superman's very fast. Mm, I th yeah, it's I think Superman would be able to dodge that. But it's the bifrost. Anyway, anyway, we, we do have to move on. We are out of time. Like, Chad, we are you going to change your vote or not? The chat's poll. Chad. So. You can't oh dangle that. man! You can't dangle that. No, I think Superman's too fast. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think Superman's too fast. I'm Superman. Let's go ahead and bring up the poll from the chat. I tried, Liam. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Oh, oh, that is three to one. I win. <laughs> Chad, 
Chad, you did that. I don't believe that that was an honest thing. <laughs> Chad, that was an honest thing. thing. You almost what, made it a you, tie. I give you like the Dang thickest you know what? answer I could give you there. And you're you like, know what? Oh, Liam? Is he faster than Bifrost? Liam. He's not you... faster than the Bifrost! The Bifrost! <laughs> hey, the now that, <laughs> now, hey, now that this is done, yeah. Thor would totally win. Thor huh? would kick his ass. Yeah. <laughs> or totally kick his ass. Yeah, I know. <laughs> all right, thank know. you all for watching this episode yeah, of Death Metal Cast. I'm just gonna drop that next. Oh, next up, uh, uh, k- keep an eye on the Death Battle yeah. channel. We've got a bunch of awesome stuff coming up for members, and of course, Thor versus Vegeta is coming up now. If you thought these characters, MCU Thor uh, and DCEU Superman, could do some crazy shit, just wait till you'll see what we've got for. Thor from the comics and freaking <laughs> Super Saiyan Ego. Vegeta, like, there's some crazy shit going on with these characters. Are you okay, Liam? Dude Blade X says, Liam, this is your Captain Crunch moment. Dude Blade X, this is not even close. Not even close. Not no, it's moment. not bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. <laughs> All right, I'm going to save that. That's. Uh... Uh, <laughs> thank you for joining us. Uh, and uh, of, of course, as always, be kind to others. Be, be awesome. See you next week. Take bye.